Okay, so this is the last uh, part, which is going to be using the elastic energy equation, which is one-half kx squared. Okay, k, remember, is the spring constant, and that basically tells you how strong the spring is, and x is how far it is stretched or compressed. Okay, all right. Okay, so a mass is placed on the free end of a compressed spring whose spring constant is 115 newtons per meter, so that's the K. The spring is compressed 0.2 meters, so that's the X, from its neutral position, how much elastic energy is stored, okay? So in this one, that's what I'm looking for. All right, the K is 115 newtons per meter. The X is 0.2 meters. Oh, and that's all I need. Okay, so I'm just going to write the equation down. Make sure you copy the equation correctly. That will be given for you. You don't have to memorize it. Okay, 1 half times the K, which is 115 newtons per meter. And the X is 0.2 meters. That's squared. Okay, so again, you could just put this all in your calculator at once. Okay, but I'm going to show a couple of extra steps just in case you need to see them. Okay, so half times 115 is 57.5 uh, newtons per meter. Okay, and then 0.2 squared is going to be 0.04, and then that's going to become meters squared because you have to square everything. Okay, all right, so for units wise, this meter and one of those is going to cancel, right? So that is how you get that newton meter is a joule. All right, so then I'm going to have 57.5 times 0.04, 2.3 joules of energy stored. Not, yet, not that much, all right? Okay, number eight, um, an archer pulls a bowstring back 0.15 meters, so that's the X, and it stores 2,000 joules of EE, okay, what is the spring constant K? So that's my unknown, the X is 0.15 meters, that's 15 centimeters, and the EE is 2,000 joules, all right, so I'm going to write my equation out, okay, and then I'm solving for K, all right? So the first thing, just like with the kinetic, I'd probably multiply by two on both sides. Okay, so I get that, all right? And then I'm solving for K, so I wanna move the X squared to the other side. And now I'm ready to plug in the numbers, okay? So 2,000 joules over 0.15 meters squared. And let's see what that is. So uh, 2 times 2,000. I'm just going to make one more step here. 4,000 joules because I don't want to mess it up. 0.15 squared is 0.0225 meters squared. And then I'm going to divide those. Okay. So if you have a fancy calculator, it should be pretty easy. But if you have like a regular calculator, then you got to be real careful. That looks very big. That is a huge spring constant. I'm just going to round this off a lot. Oop, not joules. Newtons per meter. That's sort of an insane spring constant. I don't think these are the greatest problems. Okay, I actually got 177777.778, so I just rounded it off because that's too much numbers. Okay, um, let me just make sure I did that right. 4,000 divided by 0.15 divided by 0.15. Yeah, that's an insanely huge spring constant. I have no idea. That's kind of a dumb problem, but whatever, here we are. Okay, all right. And next one, uh, compressed spring stores 20,000 joules of energy, okay? Um, the spring constant is 1,500, that's the K. How far is the spring compressed? That's the X, okay? So X equals question mark, K equals 1,500 newtons per meter. All right, oh, hold on, this is so messy. Okay, and the EE is 20,000 joules. Okay, all right, so I'm going to write my equation out first. Okay, and then this time I'm solving for X. All right, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of that. So 2EE equals KX squared. Okay, now I want the X squared, so now I need to move the K over. Oh, now my pencil's dead. Just give it a minute. It is. All right, so you're going to divide by K on both sides. I'm literally one second away from being done, and the pencil has to die. Divided by K. Okay, so now I have X squared equals 2EE over K. All right, and I don't want X squared, I just want regular X, so I have to square root that. 
So x is going to be the square root of 2ee over k. And now I can put the numbers. Okay. And these square roots might be a little hard to work with if you're not used to it. Okay. So you just need to practice it. It's not magical. It just requires some practice because as you can see, they're all going to be the same. And the kinetic is the same as this one. They have the same base equation. Okay. So I get radical of 2.67 under there. And I guess that's joules per newton per meter, just like a crazy unit. Okay, two times. I'm just going to make sure that's right. Divided by 1,500. Oh, it's not. Hold on. I think it's 26. Two times 20,000 divided by 1,500. Oh, it isn't. It is 26. And then the square root, 5.2 meters.